Hey there everybody, we got a sneak peek number two um, showing you how um, how I put the closure on these books and how I wrap the binding on the inside. So this is what we have so far and I really, like I said, I really love that butterfly. I think she's so pretty. But we're ready to put our closure on and I'll show you how I do this. Of course, this is not like the end all be all. You don't have to do it like this. It's, you know, however you want to do it is, is just fine. But I'm going to show you how I manage my closures. And this book is about almost six inches. So, um... I'm measuring. I'm going to take it off and measure it here. Yep. We've almost got six inches. So what I'll do is, um, and you'll notice I have a, a, a hand cloth down here. Uh, that's so I don't punch through my, uh, my tabletop. So we're going to measure down to about three. I'm going to take a look at that. That looks pretty good. And I'll punch my first hole. I'm just punch. And then I pick up the book and I kind of give the awl a little twist. And our hole is punched. Can you see it? You probably can't see it. It's right there. The next thing I want to do is put the closures, the, um, the holes for the elastic closures in the back of the book. So here is the hole that I just punched. I kind of go up and this will be where I punch my first hole and then I will punch another hole under that about this far and those will be the holes that I use to thread the elastic string onto uh, into the book so I can close it. I'm using a Tim Holtz brad here. I love these brads. They're the, exactly the perfect size for these journals. They're the, they're the perfect uh, length, you know, in the back here, and they just work really, really great. So I'll take this out of the way. Don't need that anymore. And I'm going to place my brad. You can see that a little bit of the brad is sticking out. So what I do is just kind of twist it around. I don't want anybody to get poked on a brad. And then that's what it looks like when it is all finished up. Just like that. And I chose the number 10. I just like the number 10. I thought that really looked nice on the journal. Next thing that I want to do, and I hope that I have enough embroidery floss to do this. I didn't realize I had a short piece. Hmm. Okay, hang on a second. Let me get out my floss because I, I really don't think that that's enough. These do take quite a bit of floss and I'm wondering if I have any more brown and I don't see I don't see brown. So I'm going to have to choose a different color. I'm kind of trying to look at this and figure, you know, look at the colors that I have going on and kind of figure out a good color. I kind of like this. Um, I do not see any brown. And br ah, there it is. Yay. I kind of really, really like the brown. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to show you how to do a very simple binding. Um, so you're going to pull some floss out. And it does, it's like I said, it does take quite a bit. And we start at the top of the book, just like this, and leave yourself a nice long tail up here because this is where you'll be tying things off. So we go one. Now I do five signature books. Two. Three. Four. And when you look on the inside of the book, you'll be able to tell if you've got enough. So kind of peek on the inside of the book. Now this is your tail. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so pick up your tail. <laughs> pick up your tail and get on with it. <laughs> and then we're going to pull this over here. So we're going to pull this one at the top. So you've got one 
in the in the book and one on top of the book and then the next thing you want to do is cross these over each other and give them a little tug lift up your strings with your thumb and then give this a good tie and then you've got um, a really nice way to lace on some beads for your journal there we go. Did you see that okay? I'm trying to adjust the camera as I talk to you. Now, you're going to flip your book over and you can kind of tug on the strings now and get them kind of straightened out on the inside. And you can see where you will lace in your five signatures. Now keep in mind this is all done before you know, before you, before you cut your pockets, before you washi tape your pockets, before you uh, cut your singles for your book. Um, so there we go, guys. I thought I would just give you like a little sneak peek number two into what's happening in the studio today. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Please leave me a comment. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you. Bye.